Grace and peace, uh, beloved St. Lucas and friends. It's a blessing to be with you this uh, Sunday morning for our morning devotional. We've been reading uh, for the last few weeks in part of our sermon series, uh, Reckless Love by Tom Berlin. It's a pastor in Virginia. And uh, in, in the chapter called Open Hearted Love, the one that we've been reading this week, he he talks about the role of a, of a disciple and, and a rabbi and how a disciple, which means student, uh, and rabbi, which means teacher, uh, how a, a disciple, a student, uh, seeks to, to follow the rabbi as closely as possible. It, that their role isn't to question the rabbi. Their role is to, to learn uh, everything they can from the rabbi and to mimic the rabbi so much that when you see the disciple, you see you see the rabbi, and that, that's the goal of a, of a good disciple, of a good student um, in this framework, to when people see you, they see the teacher, they see the rabbi. And early Christians um, took this uh, to another degree. That's, that's why we call ourselves Christians, uh, little Christs, to, to have Christ within us and for people to see Christ uh, in us. At least that's, that's kind of part of the goal, to follow Jesus so closely um, that, that we, people see Jesus, our rabbi, in us, his disciples. And then uh, Pastor Berlin uh, later on shares um, about how Jesus and the disciples go into Samaria uh, in John chapter 8, and how Jesus interacts with the Samaritan woman in the middle of the day at the well um, and how the disciples are aghast by this because you don't talk to people like that. Um, Samaritan people are dirty. They're uh, religiously unclean. There are all kinds of stereotypes and cultural uh, frameworks that have been laid, uh, laid on the Jewish people about Samaritan people. They're despised and not respected, not trusted. They're not safe to be around. And then there's this, this, these few sentences that Pastor Berlin shares about continuously why Jesus interacts with people that society has marginalized, has set aside, um, has said that they are not as valuable as uh, everyone else who are outside of the norm. Jesus comes to human interactions with an open heart and an open mind because he knows people fully. He is not limited by cultural bias. He is not constricted by prejudice. He is not boxed in by the stereotypes. There is nothing that closes him off to other people. And that is why he is able to interact with people with deep love and honesty. I think, for me, as I struggle to be a disciple, a student of Jesus, the rabbi, the teacher, the Christ, this is something that I've been struggling to grow in more and more, to be someone who, who has shed the biases um, that our culture has rained down on me. So I don't know what it is for you. Um, the, the, the biases that have rained down on you throughout your life that you're even we're not even aware of, but that cause us to to think poorly about other people, to think that other people are because of their skin color or their culture or their religion they're inherently dirty, violent unacceptable. And that if we're to follow Jesus, if we're to be his students, his disciples, we need to begin to remove those cultural biases the way Jesus was free from those. We need to be less and less constricted by prejudices, less and less boxed in by stereotypes and less and less closed off from the other. So this morning as you begin your day, as you 
prepare for worship, I pray that following Jesus might take on even deeper and transformative dimensions for you. And then I wanted to share with you this prayer from Thomas Aquinas, who uh, was born in 1225 uh, and died in 1270, 74. <laughs> we pray with me. Give us, O Lord, a steadfast heart, which no selfish desires may drag downwards. Give us an unconquered heart, which no troubles can wear out. Give us an upright heart, which no unworthy ambitions may tempt aside. Give us also, O Lord, our God, understanding to know you, perseverance to seek you, wisdom to find you, and faithfulness that may finally embrace you. Through, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, friends. We'll see you at 930 for worship.